Alright guys, I'm uh, going to treat the African Sickly Tanks, I don't know if you saw the video pre uh, prior, but they're really not in a good state. I picked these fish up from local fish stores, someone had donated, donated the fish there. So for the fish that I had before, I kind of done a swap and I'll show you what kind of uh, condition they're in. As you can see, very, very, look, big chunks out of his... Um, out of his fins, out of his side, he's got a hole in the head. I mean, he's got a little bit on him as well. Uh, there's some um, eyes are a bit foggy as well. So this is what I'm going to use to basically um, uh, dose, dose them up. So on the back, it says, uh, dose daily for seven days. Make 25% water change, continue treatment if necessary. Okay, so, five mil per 10 US gallons. Well, it's a 350 litre tank. So 38, five mil for 38 litres. So I've just got to do the calculations of, um, it's about, uh, let's just say 38. It's got to be a good part of 20, 30 litres of, um, nah, maybe more. Let's say 50 litres of um, tank space is taken up by uh, the rocks. So let's go on a, on a 300 litre basis. So, um, 50. Let's go with uh, 50, 45. Let's go with 45 and we'll see how we get on. So, got to fill up the cap here, which is basically 10 and 5 mil. So, yeah, I'll do um, 45 and we'll see how we get on. Following day, after the treatment, I wake up and find this. I don't know whether he's going to make it. There's still some life in him. But. Don't want to take him out just yet. Since the tank's been treated as well. I've had. I've had African cichlids where they're like this. Really, really bad. And give them some treatment. Takes them a couple of days. But they do sort themselves out. I don't know. <clears throat> Don't look great though. The other guys actually look peppier and better. He's still a little bit mashed up. A little bit. He is mashed up. But seems in a lot better spirits. He's another one that I'm a bit concerned about because he's I had but he was swimming about like nobody's business this morning. So <clears throat> I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure how this is going to pan out, to be honest. Hey guys, it's the fourth day now. And, um, <clears throat> of the treatment. Now, his eyes are still pretty cloudy. This is apparently his immune system that uh, is doing that. But, I've got to admit, his, his colour is starting to come up. His attitude is definitely there. This guy over here, obviously he's really beaten up. It's going to take a little bit of time to sort him out. But he's a lot better. Unfortunately, I lost the, the, the dragon blood. Uh, literally a day after the treatment, it decided to go belly up. I've got, no, I've got no idea on why. But what I've done is I've added the uh, Pemafix to the treatment as well. And I've moved over to the Seachem uh, salt. Oh, mate, what are you doing? Um, yeah, I mean, attitude-wise, yeah, they seem uh, they're, they're, they're having a go at each other. There's there's a lot of pecking and God knows what going on. Um, obviously, that on his on his fin gonna have to be dealt with, but not until he's he's fully recovered. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's it for now. Um, didn't expect in four days for them to be perfect, but there you go. So we've got until Monday to see if there's any like uh, proper improvements, and we'll go from there. Morning, guys. Well, so we're at the end of the seven days uh, of uh, treatment. Yesterday, which is Monday today, yesterday um, I basically filled up my 180, moved the two fish that were worse uh, out of a lot of them, I put them into the 180, carry on treatment, and well, there's a there's a growth on one of them which I find a little bit concerning. So I put them both in a 180, and I've left the other tank, um, and I'll show you how they are. So. These guys are totally fine. There's no adverse effects to the treatment. Everyone seems to be okay. No deaths, apart from the, the first one I had. And I also moved them as well because um, there was a lot of infighting as well. So um, I moved the two bullies over, who happened to be the most... Um, most damaged so they're going to stay here for a little while where well, I'll try to work out what this is on on his fin seems to be getting bigger and this guy heals up so as you can see the white bits on the, on his face and on the side that's all the damage from before and um, they're repairing and I'd say definitely that the um, that the product has worked because his his eyes were completely um, uh, like frosty. So um, yeah, was wasn't very good. But at least that's repaired his colours coming through. Obviously, we've got the concern about um, that wart on the back, which I can't figure out whether it is a tumour or um, fluke so I've treated this tank for uh, for fluke as well and uh, see how it all pans out tonight uh, I'll be basically doing some big water changes, bringing the water back to its where it should be, because um, I've got a lot of phosphates in the tank from food, maybe even a treatment, I can't be sure to be honest. So um, yeah, I'm gonna be, I'll be doing a good 100, 100 litre water change in here, and um, start basically diluting whatever the treatment is in in the tank so what do I think of Metafix then well along the way that I, I did start treating with uh, Primafix as well uh, very good I mean even yesterday when uh, I went to go and purchase some fish spoke to a local um, um, aquarium about the uh, treatment because it's it's natural treatments Straight away they were like, yeah, no, no problem, it's fine. You know, they, they were happy with it. So it's recognised as a, as a very good treatment. Um, I, was, I was advised on the forums that um, uh, Metro, Metrozone, I think it is, uh, is better for other, other stuff, like more potent. Um, but I wanted to basically do this via natural treatment. One, for the initial sores and um, pits and holes and that kind of stuff and then clean water you know there's there's a lot to be said for just having the right parameters and having it clean yeah doing your maintenance and cleaning cleaning the tanks uh, and making sure that all, all your levels are in perfect in, in the perfect range and um, they will heal they will heal i also like to say thank you very much whilst doing this video I come to 100 subscribers. Um, obviously, I need uh, a thousand. So, thank you very much for subscribing. 
please put out the word. We bring this channel up to a thousand. I can actually start looking at uh, basic, bringing better equipment in, better production value, spending more time on it, maybe getting someone to promote the channel, so on and so forth, for making this a lot bigger. But I would say thank you just the same. Thanks for watching me. You know, to be honest, when I first started off, I didn't really know if anyone was going to be interested in anything I had to say. So for you that have watched and appreciate what I've done, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, and yeah, let's keep on pushing it up. Brilliant. Thank you guys. See you later on.